Hey there, and welcome to the Noesis Interactive Character Design and Integration with Half-Life 2 Disk. In this DVD, we're going to focus on importing characters we've created into Half-Life 2 Deathmatch. Following discs, we'll also explore advanced character design and map creation, as well as integrating characters into other games. So to get the most out of this disc, you're going to need a licensed copy of Half-Life 2 Deathmatch, a uh, working version of Photoshop, trial versions of which are available from Adobe.com, and Softimage XSI, the 3D software package we're going to be focusing on. A trial version of XSI is included on this disc. If you don't currently have Half-Life 2 Deathmatch, you could buy it online from SteamPower.com. Just go to SteamPower.com, select Games, browse through their games, multiplayer games, and choose Deathmatch. Uh, I got a couple different versions you can choose from. If you don't have Steam, you're going to need to download that first. So click Get Steam and download it now. The installer is pretty small. Uh, and the interface is going to allow you to download any of the games you'd like from Valve. This DVD also includes a 30-day evaluation of XSI 5.1 Foundation. So explore the DVD. Go to Installers, XSI Foundation. And let's give it a double click to install. When the setup launches, just use the recommended install options to guide yourself right on through. And when you're finished, we'll explore some more of the DVD contents. Here we have the databases folder, which contains many of the necessary files for completing the lessons on this disk. The folder should already have been copied to your computer during the install, but if you need a backup copy of any file, you can go and copy the folder contents directly to your hard drive. Inside is a folder called Extras, which contains many of the models, materials, and other asset files that we'll be using throughout our lessons. Uh, and there's also a reference folder where you'll find the nice PDF listing the useful shortcuts for XSI. You might want to print this one out and keep it nearby just for a refresher. You can also create a shortcut on the desktop for the extras folder by right-clicking on the file and selecting Send to Desktop Shortcut. That can make accessing the folder a little bit easier, a little more convenient during the lessons themselves. The first time you open XSI, it will ask if you want to buy or continue your evaluation. For now, let's continue the evaluation. And we're going to link XSI to the databases we've copied to our local drive. Go to File, Open. And by default, we are in the XSI Samples database. Navigate out to the Noesis DB201 Scenes folder. And open the XSI Scene to get us started. It'll ask you if you want to update your database. Let's select Yes. And now the next time that we open a file, we'll have both a DB201 and the samples database is available to us.
To make the lessons even easier to follow, the Noesis interface has on-screen tips which pop up to guide you through and reinforce key topics currently being discussed. The tips are on by default, but they can be turned off once you're comfortable by clicking the small green tip icon on the right of the interface. You can also navigate between any section or chapter using the mini menu on the left. You've got a little bar that tells you where you currently are located. Multiple language options are also available and can be switched at any time. I hope you enjoy the Noesis Interactive Module World series. So let's jump right in and get ourselves started.